in the last video we have seen that how to make a registration form using react and in this video we will cover that how to connect this react.js form with our laravel api so for that first of all we need to make a blank project so i will open up my cmd now from the laravel documentation search for composer search for composer just copy the command and inside your terminal just paste this and let's say my app name will be lara app so wait for few seconds to complete okay so after successful installation go inside the laravel app and open vs code from here now minimize your screen and go to your env file and from here i need to change my database name so let's say my database name will be laravel react db okay now copy this name go to your browser inside your databases of uh, php my admin just paste the name and uh, and click on create so as you can see our database got created now we need to open a new terminal from here and here i need to type php partition and migrate which will do the migration file for us Okay, so after successful migration if i refresh this so all the tables are here fine now we will need to start the project so we'll type php partition serve which will trigger our code so if i write like localhost colon 8000 so it will open up our laravel project all right now let's open second terminal so our first work is to make an api so we will go to api.php and from here i will need to make a simple api so i will type route colon colon post and let's say my route name will be registered user okay so i need to make a controller for all also so i need to type php artisan make controller controller and it will be let's say auth controller okay so inside api detail you need to make a auth controller so in api http controller api this is file controller file so let's say my function name will be register all right so i need to import this file also so i need to copy the relative path and here i need to use like this way okay and the small f name will be capital so i need to copy the class name and here i need to type like this one thing you need to remember which is whenever you creating any api based routes so you need to create inside the routes api.php okay now here you need to type request and then request okay so what it does first of all you need to validate the request so you can type like use validator and using validator class we can validate uh, our incoming request so i will type request and then all okay and now i will write that the name which is required okay I'm sorry guys this is required okay the same thing can be happen for email and password so I will write like email so email and this will be for uh, password okay now I need to write like validator now if validator fails so I need to write like if validator fails then you need to return a message which is return response in the form of json so what will be the json json will be like status which will be false and in the data you would uh, you would get uh, the validator errors okay now if all the uh, validation will be 
safely pass so it will save the requested data in the users table which is inside this user table okay so for using this user laravel has already created our model called user so i need to just import this you can make your own migration file and you can use but for the tutorial purpose i am showing the ready made uh, migration or maybe the database file so i need to write like this way user colon colon create i'm sorry create and here you need to write in this way so the name which will get from the request name okay the email which will get um sorry guys from the request email and uh, the password the password field would be get as request uh, by password okay so if the user creation got successful so it will store a boolean value inside the user variable so we need to return a response so we will return response and json so i would like like status which will be a uh, true okay and what will be the data so in the data we would got the user and now we need to search for laravel sanctum because i am using laravel sanctum for this package okay so now you need to search for uh, create token okay just search for create token and just copy the thing and here you need to write on that way and you need to pass the key name so in my case i am passing this register token and you also need to search for plain text token so you need to copy the name plain text token and here you need to paste like this okay and i am also need to pass a message so i will type message and the message will be uh, user uh, user register successfully okay user registered successfully so now let's check this thing by uh, using our postman so inside postman uh, i need to enter my app url which is uh, this localhost 8000 and here i need to type api slash and then the route name which is uh, in my case register user so i just copy the name and paste click like this and we need to select the method which is post which is defined inside here okay so if i make the post request so what happen it says these three fields are required it's mean it checking all the validation rule by using this validator method or facsimile you can see so let's say if i enter the correct data so let's say my name is brian o corner my email is uh, sorry brian at the rate fast furious dot com and my password is let's say brian one two three okay so i am uh, filling these three fields and if i click on send so what happen so it says user register successfully and you got the token as the data right and if i go here and if i refresh the page you see the user got register now our work is to integrate this api with our this uh, react app so how can we do that so for that let's copy the url now go inside your uh, register component which uh, which we have already covered in the previous video that how can we create this uh, register from using bootstrap and react so this is the second extension part of this video so for that now we need to change something okay so first of all you need to change the name by full name i will say why we changing this okay now we will change this by user email 
and the password would be changed by user password so we need to also change this thing here also so i will type name sorry not name this will be user name oops maybe some mirror user uh, i don't know why my vs code got hanged due to time oh dot username it will be for full name sorry and for email we need to use uh, user email okay and for the password we need to use user password that's fine so now we need to also check this thing also so let's say change this thing and by we just make a one message and we need to first of all print the name which is full name and the user email okay and we need to also pass user password so let's check first of all if this uh, form working perfectly or not so i am using my name which is shiman sorry shimantya i am shimantya at the rate mail.com and this is my password if i click on register it print the output that's fine it's been our form is working correctly now we need to integrate this api so i just copy this thing and in the react js form i need to first of all make some local variable here so i would type var email equals to user email okay and then we would type var name equals to full name and we would also type var password equals to user password so now we need to make an object for that so i will type let item and the item okay inside item we will pass name email and then password so now we need to type fetch method and here i need to paste this api now in the curly braces i need to type which method we need to use so i am using post method okay in the headers i would write like content type and this will be application slash json and it would also accept uh, the thing also so i would type accept like this okay and in the body section i need to type json dot stringify and inside here i need to pass the item now here i need to type then and i would type response and the thing will response dot json okay and here i would type uh whatever you data get you just print the log here so i would print the data here and let's say i just disable this line because it does not required so let's see what happened actually so let's refresh this let's uh, pass another data let's say type mia mia at the rate mail.com and password will be let's say this and if i click on register uh okay so it says if you if i just scroll sorry guys if i it says user registered successfully and we got the uh, token here also so i can change this by uh, in the auth controller i mention is as data it's not data it should be maybe token okay so let's see so uh, if i go here and if i press this and it will show the mia record it shows the mia record okay let's refresh this and let's say if i take uh, dominic okay and if i type dominic at the rate fast furious.com and this is let's say dom password and if i click on register so it says user register successful and you got the token here so if we got the logic is if we got the token okay 
so user will be registered into our database successfully so for that i need to write the logic here like uh, if if in the data we got the token okay then we can uh, show the alert message and which will be the alert so the alert will be data dot uh, this message okay so i can type like data dot message and if some else happen so i can type uh, that alert and let's say try again okay and when the alert happen it will uh, okay let's see what happen if we do this so if i clear all this form and if i go to operations and if i truncate all the records from here okay now this is our blank project so if i close this so this is our register form let's say i put my own details which is shimonto dash my email which is i am shimonto dash at the rate gmail.com and password is shi something and if i click on as you can see this is not blank record okay if i click on register it shows user registered successfully okay and if i refresh this database it shows the record so in this way you can make the login registration form inside the react js and uh, laravel form also you can also use the uh, sanctum authentication middleware i will show in the later video so thank you guys for watching this video in the second video i will show that how to make the login form and indicate with laravel api thank you